Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're working on a new topic of vectors, so let's have a look at our uh, vectors knowledge. So we're mostly recapping the stuff from GCSE. So just a little reminder then, a vector is represented as a directed line segment. Two vectors are equal if they have the same magnitude and direction. Two vectors are parallel if they have the same direction. So for example, if we have this vector A here and 3A, then these are not uh, the same vector, they're not equal because they don't have the same magnitude, but they are parallel because they have the same um, direction. And the general way that we write vectors is either in bold letters or in underlined letters. And generally when you're writing on a piece of paper, you would write it with underlined letters um, because it's, it's very difficult to write in bold. Okay, and you can add two vectors using the triangle law of addition. Now, let me just show you what that is quickly. If you wanted to go from, say, A to C in a straight line, sometimes the straight line from A to C isn't quite available. Sometimes you have to go from A to B and then B to C afterwards. Um, so, for example, this here might be the vector A plus B. You go along A and then along B. OK, let's have a go at answering some simple questions here. We have the diagram that's uh, labelled up here. O to A is the uh, vector A. O to B is the vector B. And N, Q, P, D and M are all midpoints of their respective lines. So the first question here is how do we get from O to C? Well, there's no straight line taking us straight from A to C. So we're going to have to go through a few other directions before we get from O to C. So what we'll do here is we'll go from O to A and then along from A to C. Now notice here how from A to C is going to be the same vector as O to B. So in this case here it's just going to be the answer of A going along here and then adding on B. So the way you would go from one vector and then on to another vector is by adding these vectors together. The next question is how would you get from A to B? Well, if you want to go backwards along a vector like we do down here, then that's effectively negative A. So we'll go along B first, which is the same as O to B, and then we go backwards along A because A is clearly in the direction of O to A. So it's B take away A as a vector. OK, this time from Q to C. Now remember this whole bottom line is B, so the whole top line is B, and if Q is the midpoint, then Q to C must just be half of the vector B. So you can half or third or take a fraction of any of your vectors if it works for you. The next question here is to get from C to N, and seeing as that's going back along the A vector by a half, that's minus a half A. OK, so how do we get from Q to N? Well, what would be a good idea is if we went from Q to C first and then from C, from C down to N. Now, effectively, we've already worked out most of this question here. We've got Q to C here and we've got C to N here. So we just need to add those two vectors together. Half B take away half A. OK, so what can you deduce about the vector A to B and Q to N? So A to B and Q to N. So these vectors here and this vector here. Well, what we can say is if you look at their two vectors, we've got B minus A and half B minus half A, then it must be the case that these two vectors here are parallel because they're travelling in the same direction, just with a different magnitude. So you can times one vector by the other, so hence they're parallel. Right, OK, let's have a go at a slightly more difficult question here. Uh, triangle OAB, uh, M is the midpoint of OA, and N divides AB in the ratio 1 to 2. So immediately think about drawing yourself a diagram. just like we've got here. So O to A is the vector A. O to B is the vector B. 
and uh, what we want to do is express O to N in terms of A and B. So what we're going to think about doing, is there's no straight line straight from O to N, but there is a line that takes us from O to A, and then we have to go a certain distance along here to get to N, which is going to be a fraction of the distance from A to B. Okay, so O to M is the vector A, so M to A is therefore going to be um, 2A in total. Okay, so we've got from O to A. Now, the ratio here is the important bit. Using the ratio, if N divides AB in the ratio 1 to 2, the way we could show this on a diagram is if this is one part and this is two parts, then effectively we've got a one-third part and a two-thirds part. So I would always think of these as fractions rather than as ratios. So we've got uh, A to N is, is a third of the distance from A to B. So the distance from A to B then is going to be, um, what we need to do then is go back to O and then along to B. So we're going to have to go backwards by two A's and then we're going to have to add a B. But if we want to get, that's, that's the distance from A to B. But if we want the vector from A to N, then we're going to have to take a third of this. So A to N is the vector minus two thirds A, add a third B. So now we've got both of our components that we need for O to N. So to get from O to N, we need to go along two A's first, so we need to go along two A's first, and then we need to go along a third of this whole line here, which is effectively what we've got as this part of our answer here. Simplify your answers together, and you get O N is equal to four thirds A add a third B. Okay, so sometimes you have to take a fraction of a vector, and sometimes you have to go an alternate route from one point to another, depending upon the vectors that you have available to you. Right, so your turn to have a go at this question then. Pause the video, draw yourself a diagram, and see how far you get on. Right, okay, let's have a go at this question then. So A, B, C, D is a trapezium. A to B is uh, equal to, is parallel to D to C. D to C is, you have to triple A to B, to get D to C. So it's going to look roughly like this. Uh, it's A, B, C, D. So this order that it's written the letters in here is the order that you should draw your triangle in. A, B, C, D. M divides D, C such that, oh no, not in half, uh, such that is the ratio D to M. So here is going to be in the ratio M to C. Whoops, it's not even here. It's all the way over here. So don't worry if your diagram gets a bit messy. Um, so it's two parts to one part. So effectively this is two thirds to one third. Now A to B is represented with the vector A. And B to C is represented with the vector B. Uh, find in terms of A and B. So we'll join this up to make a trapezium. The vector from A to M. So uh, what we have here, let's have a look at what this bit here means. So A to B is a third of the distance from uh, D to C. So therefore, if we want to go one this way, there's, there's effectively three of these along this line here, because this line is three times as long. So this vector here is going to be an A, and then the vector from D to M is going to be 2A. Okay, so A to M, so what I would do here is I would go along uh, an A, down a B, and then back along an A. So in this case here, it's going to be A, add B, back along an A. So this is actually just the vector B. Okay, um, B to D then, so we're going to have to go um, along a B, 
and then back along three a's, so it's going to be b minus three a. I think once you set up your diagram, it's pretty easy to go from there. Uh, the really important bit is you get your diagram correct and make sure you use all of the information uh, from that sentence that it gives you. Uh, from M to B, then that's just going to be along an A and back along a B, so it's going to be A minus B. And for D here, D to A, so it's straight along there, but you can't go along there, so it would be three A's, take away a B and take away another A, so it's three A's, take away a B and take away an A, and simplify we get 2A minus B. Alright then, so have a go at plenty of uh, questions from exercise 11A. Remember that only watching this video is 10% of the learning, the 90% of the learning is going to come from you having a go at questions from the textbook. Make sure you persevere through those difficult ones and ask a teacher for help if you need any. Thanks very much for watching.